Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgred is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hunt. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your challenge. Come now. Don't drag your feet. Best not to draw attention here. Sigurd. What brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clots. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need one way or another. No, no. You have shot your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Burgred is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Keep those gates locked. If they come within a foot of you, kill them! Longhouse. I should have a look around.
My eyes. No peace around here.
What secrets you keep, Tona? This might be something. Looks like Burgred once paid Tona to steer the Ragnar sons away from two areas. Burgred's private hunts, perhaps. He could be at either one. Shouldn't have been so greedy, Tona. Right, back to the brothers. Eivor, tell us you learned something. Let Estra and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Lederchester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkret could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkret now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebrog. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me led the Chester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon.
be seen. Better be hooded. from me <laughs> Survey the area soon. Good 
timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? No. And if Burgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Church is well guarded. Might find a way around. Keep it up, lads. Every little bit helps. The farmers are starting to push back. Then kindly remind them of their duty to Mercia and to their king. You heard Leia, Frith? Secure whatever food you can. The Danes won't hesitate to burn our fields, and if we can't eat, we can't fight. Quite a haul of goods they've hidden away. Crates full of food and supplies. Burgret's not giving up without a fight.
This must be the bathhouse. Need to find a way inside. This is bollocks. We should be out there fighting to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Lay off Frith's orders. Lay off Frith's orders? Bah! The king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgred's orders every chance he gets. That's done ever since the Danes showed up. Jailbird. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Eva's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Lederchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvelsworth. She's in Templebloch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva! Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. It would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. <laughs> When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobert could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? 
There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's lady Athelsweth is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Stay sharp. Take everything! Pile the soldiers here! Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. Whoever trains these Mercian soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Better than your tight-lipped man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? Aver, there you are. 
What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with... They must have separated off to Tomworth. I heard as much from Chaelbert in Lerichester. Chaelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tail for now, but he's fine. I send him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adel's will. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching Adel's with. Oh, then guide you. <clears throat> the Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take your longship. I'm beside you either way. Oh, I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother. I should not be seen in this area. Be somewhere else. All right. We'll do oh, this the vegan way then.
hard to get through that door without being seen. Soldiers' barracks. Others with might be here. Three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgred has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Eivor? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athels with.
wrong with you? What? Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? <clears throat> I regret asking. Let me go! I demand it! After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia! You're wasting your time. I won't talk! Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. For who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Lady others with you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why the cat shaver? Sees as much a poet as you. Where's my Catelyn? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her. I will inform Cheerwolf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go. Eating fish.
your turn. She won't talk to me. Aver will handle it. Go on. You've exhausted my friend Abba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkert's hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> my husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise? ...knowing that even his closest friends could betray him. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. He stabbed you in the back, true. But the people of Mercia are scared, and Cheowulf offers them a balm for that fear. I spit on him. Whatever life he makes in Mercia will be built on the graves of the nobles who gave their lives to defend it. The longer you drag this out, the truer that becomes. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Lerichester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chaos of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Out, Ivar. Now. All right, all right. But if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. My, my God! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you'll betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Cheol's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south. ...where the Alni and Arrow Rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me.
should be cautious around here. God for a musty crypt. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. <gasps> to be down here. Must be getting close. Sneeze loud enough, and these walls will come down, looks like. It's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! The throne is mine! <laughs> Time to 
go, my lord. Late for the crowning ceremony. and butchered. It's Hona. Help! You crossed me, lovely dove. Did you think I wouldn't find out? I'll send you back to the Rakhashans in pieces. This thing! You, you, you think you've won? You haven't. Liar, Frith. I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world! The whole lot of you! A rancid disease! You don't deserve Mercia! To the victor the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. to go fast Look familiar? No! No, you... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this!
change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalit. Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a land to slaughter? See what I mean. See what I mean. Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you boneless? Some backcraft I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow. Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton. We will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. 
It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is, things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors. All. And that is to the death. Outdid myself again. Did I miss the crowning? Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwulf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear. 
and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan infested kingdom and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must. <coughs> You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life, for it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes, yes. Forgive me, I... I do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it! Here! Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! Better be worth all this trouble. Mercy and soldiers marching on Repton. Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Reach the walls. I must find Shelbert.
Have you seen Chalbert? No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Chalbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. He's in trouble. I won't back down. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofric. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I've fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. How does it feel? Duty. I will die before I yield. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. Hey! Ha! <laughs> 
please. You do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You are... I answer to my king. Our silence... Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. I cannot... There... So... You can't win this, Leofrith. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. <laughs> was lucky. To stand in the way of you and mercy is my choice. I will die before I die. To your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to Sir Vogrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now, you haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. 
Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You're right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Chelbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn! Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Ethling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly. ...to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd... ...I would feel... ...better if... ...Chaelbert was... ...away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm... Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, wolf kissed. as a sign of friendship. I should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Sullets. If I don't clear my. Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Sullets. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news.
That's the statue the zealots use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those zealots off my back. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lit Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yaltkona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? 
Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. <laughs> with me! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? 
You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call. But I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. This bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up. And we'll talk of next steps. They bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. <laughs> 